हेलो एंड नमस्ते दिस इज नीरज हियर एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल फाइनेंशियल मार्केट एनालिसिस ट्विस्ट बाय नीरज शाह सो इन टुडेज वीडियो आई वुड लाइक टू डिस्कस रिगार्डिंग द रीसेंट डिसीजन बाय रशियन गवर्नमेंट टू सेल गैस इन रूबल सो इट इज एक्चुअली इट इट इज नॉट व्हाट इट लुक्स लाइक सो आई वॉन्ट टू डिस्कस अबाउट द इम्पैक्ट ऑफ दिस ऑन द on the on the uh, basically on the us dollar and all the commodities lme and economy in general so i have made a detailed uh, report about uh, you know which are the commodities uh, which are going to be uh, where this this can be applied uh, very soon starting from and how it is going to impact us dollar and lme and world in general in economy so before starting i would request all of you if you have not yet uh, subscribed to my channel you please subscribe and also if you like this video you put a like and share it with your maximum friends so that uh, youtube uh, promotes this video and people can benefit from it and also i have a separate format uh, which is a paid format is that if anybody is wanting to take uh, my consultancy for investment and uh, business advisory so we can set up a meeting uh, uh, through the Uh, my email details are in the description box down below and uh, through zoom or whatever in the very nominal charges it's only about 100 dollars per hour uh, so and also a big disclaimer is that whatever the views and the opinions expressed in this video are um, my personal uh, views and based on certain research and data and statistics and analysis my own analysis uh, and any decisions uh, by viewer uh, based on this uh, analysis uh, has to take into account uh, uh, their own research also and also they are requested to do their own due diligence before taking any investment decisions as i am in no way responsible for this decisions so let's not waste the much time so in today's video i would uh, uh, i would show that uh, which are the major commodities and the metals uh, Uh, which are uh, basically produced or where russia is the major producer and exporter and how this decision by the russian government is in going to impact uh, overall the world economy and the prices of this metals and commodities and the maximum impact on usd and lme so which are the four points we will be dis uh, we will be discussing on this uh, the first point is that which are the basic uh, metals and commodities uh, uh, which are the energy and the commodities which are basically exported and produced and where russia is a very major uh, uh, major contributor in the world and uh, second point is that with the decision of this uh, government uh, of selling this gas uh, to europe uh, or so called unfriendly countries who have put who put sanctions on russia uh in euro only and i am telling you this is just the beginning uh very soon it is going to be applied to all the commodities and the metals and the, and the basically the things which are exported out of russia they will all the russian government is soon to come out and shift all the major this uh, commodities and metals and and agri commodities also out of russia uh into ruble currency they will be signing contracts and that is what the main basis and how it is the third point is that all this thing is what is the total value of uh, this exports and the production of each of this uh, in terms of usd at present price and how it is going to impact us dollar and above all how it is going to impact even the the viability of the lme or london metal stock metal exchange because most of the metals Uh, which are traded it has traded through the you know lme based benchmark pricing and lme warehouse based you know where you have a certain certification issued by lme uh, regarding your grade and it is considered to be the warehoused in lme lme charges certain some percentage of uh, that uh, you know warehousing charges it is called and that gives an uh, so called authenticity or the validation of this particular uh, metal so but uh, very soon as you know that this is the kind of a, a conflict actually it is between the western countries and usa and uh, rather than between uh, you know ukraine and uh, russia so uh, western countries and russia sorry so uh, all these unfriendly countries which russia has uh, uh, you know have a list of this unfriendly countries very soon russia is going to 
do any work also or whatever that uh, contracts or the business contracts uh, they will be selling only in rubles uh, with these unfriendly countries so what is the going to be impact i will show you one i will share you this my research of all each commodity and energy and what is the uh, total production how much is this uh, the percentage of the world production russia is doing and what is the value at current price of the total this uh, per annum uh, so you will this will give you a big picture about uh, the kind of uh, amount or the finance involved into this so huge so now as you can see you see this is the chart where i have you know where i have listed the commodities which are exported uh, the list of metals and commodities production by russia so the first is as you can see crude oil it's around 10 to mil 11 million barrels per day russia production approximately even if you take the average current price at market price of 100 dollars per barrel it uh, approximately the annual export or the value of this crude oil production comes to around 383 billion dollars you see it is in the it, this column is approximate value per annum in million dollars so it's around 383 billion dollars world production is around 100 million barrel per day it's about 10 percent of the world production only russia is itself is producing second is natural gas you can see that uh, around 700 billion cubic meters annual production of natural gas uh, even if you take around average price of 5.5 dollars per mmbtu this translates into around 136 billion dollars per year this natural gas production mostly it is exported so world production of around 4000 billion cubic meter 17 percent of the world production russia is producing natural gas now coal it's around 130 to 150 million tons of both thermal and uh, cooking coal uh, including together so even if you take around 250 300 dollars per ton average price of this export it translates into 35 billion dollars now uranium so i'm this is first is all these four items are energy and fuel which is you know goes for the energy uranium 2800 to 2900 tons approximate yearly production average market price at the current around 59 uh, dollars uh, per uh, per pound so if you convert it into the you know tons it comes out to be around 120000 129800 means around 130000 dollars per ton it translates into 376 million dollars world production is around 48000 tons kazakhstan is the biggest producer of the world around 40 plus percent alone is produced by Kazakhstan so even Russia produces six percent of the world uranium production so you can see it's major product major player now come to the metals the start with the precious metals like gold Russia produces the first column is the Russians production uh, 290 to 300 tons per year if you convert the two days price uh, of say average price I have taken around 1900 dollars per ounce if you convert it into tons and you know it comes to be 61 million dollar per ton so approximate value of of russia which russia produces is around 17700 million means around 18 billion dollars 18 billion dollars because world production is around 3300 tons 9% of the world's gold production is produced by russia platinum 17% of the look at the last column 17% of the world production world production is around 160 tons and look at this 27 tons of production is done by Russia itself so taking the current price of uh, platinum around 990 dollars means around thousand dollars it translates roughly into 32 million dollar per ton so total is around 864 million dollars the approximate per annum price per annum uh, value of the production second the third is palladium 41 percent of the look at the last uh, column total world production is around 208 tons russia itself produces around 82 tons of this 41 percent of the world production and at the current market price of 2200 dollars per ounce something it translates into 73 million dollar per ton so roughly 
एवरेज वर्ल्ड प्रोडक्शन इज सिक्स बिलियन ईयरली प्रोडक्शन वैल्यू ऑफ द एन्युअल प्रोडक्शन फ्रॉम द रशिया सिक्स बिलियन डॉलर्स लुक एट निकल दिस इज द हाइएस्ट ट्रेडेड कम्युनिटी इन एल एम ई निकल वैल्यू वाइज लुक एट वॉट इज द टू पॉइंट फाइव मिलियन टन ऑफ द ओवर एवरेज वर्ल्ड प्रोडक्शन टेन परसेंट ऑफ द प्रोडक्शन इज डन बाई रशिया टू हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी थाउजेंड टन ऑफ निकल एट करंट प्राइस ऑफ थर्टी थ्री थाउजेंड डॉलर्स ऑल्सो इट इज अराउंड यू नो एट पॉइंट फाइव बिलियन और एट थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड एटी मिलियन डॉलर्स वर्थ ऑफ एन्युअल वैल्यू अनदर हाईली 67 million tons is the around approximately world production 6% of the world production is by russia 4 million tons 3400 dollars 13600 million dollars copper 3% of the world production 24.8 million ton around 800000 tons is russia produces at 9900 dollars uh, per ton of price it's around 7800 million dollars 7821 million dollars Of the value, value, cobalt. And why I have taken these are the major uh, cost, uh, highly valued metal commodities, as well as very much uh, traded on the on the LME. And these are the future commodities: this platinum, palladium, nickel, and uh, cobalt. Because these are major uh, metals which are used in the electric vehicles, or you call battery storage. and battery latest battery system lithium ion or nickel cadmium and all this this cobalt is a also a major component or metal in the battery so the futuristics all this electric vehicles when we are talking about so cobalt becomes a very major uh, and you know cobalt actually basically with the maximum production happens of cobalt uh, around 95000 tons from uh, uh, this congo democratic republic of congo and congo is actually under kind of a you know always war between two groups and you know there is that's not a very stable country uh, uh, so that is also very doubtful about you know how you can talk about that authentic uh, uh, city or the validity of the legality of this cobalt production from from uh, congo uh, but russia also is a, is a big major 4% of the cobalt production because second biggest producer of cobalt is russia 6300 tons around current price of around 82000 tons uh, dollars per ton it translates into 516 million dollar so if you look at this the the point is that what i am trying to make is that if you look at the total value of the major metals uh, from russia trading in lme it comes to 55 billion dollar okay this is we just talk about the actual metal production but in lme because of the futurist futures and options and the paper uh, oh no derivatives they trade in so derivatives even 100 times more than this 50 times or 100 times more than the actual commodity is say 1 ton but there may be the future uh, trades on that about 100 tons uh, they will you know uh, that 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 will change the hands so in in the form of exchange traded funds and all this paper uh, basically investments on based on this commodities so you can imagine that if uh, because russia is because uk is also already this so many sanctions so russia is definitely going to pull out <coughs> most of these metals which it sells uh, through lme from so that that from lme also can have a major major impact adverse impact on its uh, turnover as well as the validity or the authenticity because if the major uh, metal producer or the exporter uh, pulls its uh, its uh, its uh, its quality volumes from this lme and starts directly selling to the consumers uh, uh, which is benchmarked on some chinese uh, Uh, trading platform or uh, or whatever in other currency are basically not in dollar so you can imagine the kind of uh, uh, adverse impact on dollar as well as on lme it will itself it will and energy and fuel exports from russia this last you can see that 50 554 billion dollars worth of energy exports from russia so if russia starts and another is russia is a major producer and exporter of wheat sunflower oil complex fertilizers dap 
potash, uh, phosphorus. These are all, you know, in, in, in range of 10% to 15%, 20% of the world production into this agricultural commodities which uh, we talked about. What I am trying to tell is that these are the very, very major adverse impacts uh, the can happen on US dollar as a currency, piece of currency. Because uh, I mean, uh, which I'm very uh, sure about that Russia is going to switch to this uh, uh, with unfriendly countries uh, in terms of the ruble only currency. So you can see the energy exports itself is around 550 billion dollars in a year. So if that billion dollars it becomes uh, nobody starts, you know, because if you if Russia says that I will not. Uh, need dollar you need to pay me in ruble so that itself 550 billion means half a trillion dollars worth of that demand of dollar goes away from the market so you can imagine that what this will do to the dollar it is already russia has pegged its currency to 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 gold and now starting to most of the commodities will start to trade in terms of the ruble and with other countries in terms of ruble to that country like with india it will be ruble rupee with China it will be ruble yuan, but definitely not in uh, dollars. So a big shift. So LME will be adversely, heavily adversely impacted because most of these metals which are sold through this LME and the enemy gets that warehousing charges and other, uh, the, you know, income that will be going because nickel, palladium, uh, platinum, aluminum, copper, cobalt, uh, this big chunk from the LME will be, uh, you know, value wise. So you can imagine the kind of adverse impact LME will also have. And apart from all the, all the, the, all the problems is that this will give uh, not only a fillip to the gold because it will be the first time that some currency will be directly uh, packed to the gold which was the original concept of any currency having value. So it should be backed by some asset particularly it should be backed by gold asset that was the Bretton Woods system since you know 200 300 years it was going on and then when uh, the, the the currency of USD become kind of a, you know accepted and uh, and uh, well uh, having a, a having a trust on that currency so it become even without uh, have USA started you know uh, distributing or printing this currency without having that much of uh, the gold reserves Basically, the, you should only as a, as a financial, uh, uh, what do you call, sound financial system, any country will come out with the currency uh, which is backed by the gold. So if you have, say, suppose uh, uh, 100 billion dollars worth of gold with you, so ideally you should have 100, uh, equal to your 100 billion dollars worth currency into the circulation or the printing it should not be you know it should not exceed much more than that so it has to be any currency it has to be backed by gold so that is what russia has done so this will be definitely be a lot lot what it will do is that it will uh, that connection uh, of uh, any commodities bit and pricing of commodities and dollar it is going to disconnect it is going to kind of a break slowly slowly now you will see that even the dollar becomes generally what was the connection before that if the dollar becomes uh, strong or dollar appreciates uh, the commodities uh, goes down prices uh, okay and if the dollar depreciates against other currency then the prices of commodity goes up but here you will say find some first time that this connection between dollar and commodities is going to be slowly slowly it will not immediately break away but that correlation coefficient will become very weak. So that which was 1 is to 1, that will become like say 1 is to 0.6 or 1 is to oh, 0.5 like this way. So that impact of dollar on commodities prices is going to be uh, very, uh, so slowly, slowly it is going to be diminishing. So this is what I just wanted to share my, some of my this data and research which I had come out with. So that's it from my side. So you can see that, you know, what Russia is doing is that it's uh, it's very slowly moving away from the dollar and that will also reduce the demand of the dollar currency. As such, the value of the dollar also appreciation or against the currency will start declining. 
and LME will also will be adversely impacted because most of the metals and commodities Russia will be trading directly from its own uh, warehouse without being attached to the LME or the uh, authenticated by the LME and in its own currency of ruble. And the third will be that that the correlation between the commodity pricing and US dollar is going to be slowly slowly getting diminished and uh, you know it will be have not much major uh, like this way like in previous times it will take slowly time it will not happen immediately but you will see impact by this uh, year and in the next two to three years definitely if this way it is moving on you will see these three things happening that's it from my side and love you and ciao from Neeraj from Moscow till the next week with some other new unique ideas